Uh, good morning. I uh, just found out that uh, the quiz answers to the questions on relativity uh, was not there, so I had to quickly do this. And so it's going to be fast, but you will still understand. Question number one talks about how fast the moving clock travel. If it is to be observed by a stationary observer as running at one half its normal rate. This is obviously about time dilation. So we use the formula for time dilation. And gamma is always calculated using this formula, 1 by square root, 1 minus v squared by c squared. So you got to do that first, calculate gamma first. And once you get gamma, uh, here, in fact, it's uh, one-half its normal rate, therefore gamma is 2. As you can see, delta t by delta t naught is 2, so gamma is 2. And therefore, when you square both sides and solve that, you will get the velocity. Little math there, you have to be careful. Take the square root, and that is 0.87c. Understand that 1 minus 1 by 4 is how this becomes 3 by 4. Takes us to the second question. It's about a spaceship approaching the Earth with a speed 0.5c. A passenger in the spaceship measures his heartbeat at 70 beats per minute. What is his heart rate beat, or heartbeat rate, I mean, according to an observer? That's at rest, relative to the Earth. Now, heartbeat is a frequency. It's given as 70 beats per minute, from which uh, the time is the reciprocal of the frequency, so 1 by 70 minutes per beat, and use the formula for time dilation. get the value of gamma. Obviously, the 0.25 c squared is because it's moving at 0.5, and it's a square, and calculate gamma. Once you get gamma, put it into the equation, delta t is delta t naught gamma. You got the value of gamma. And then you find delta t and finally, take the reciprocal of that to give you 60.62 beats per minute. During a reaction, an element loses 4.8 times 10 to the minus 8 kilogram of mass. How much energy is released? So the element loses that much mass. How much energy? It's a direct application of E is equal to mc squared. And the mass is in kilograms, so you are going to get the energy in joules. C is obviously the speed of light. So you get 4.32 times 10 to the negative 11 joules. In the fourth one, a beam of light is moving in the same direction as an object is traveling. If the object is moving at speed 0.70c, how fast is the light moving as it passes the object? So this is about relativistic velocities. But remember that the speed of light is an absolute constant. It never changes. It's an absolute constant. So that was an easy one. And number five, with respect to the Earth, object one is moving at speed 0.9c to the right. Object two is moving to the left at speed 0.7c. With respect to object one, how fast is object two moving with respect to the Earth? Always take the Earth as the S prime frame, just like I told you yesterday. Okay, so if you set it up that way, where that's the Earth, and uh, you have, ooh,
Now, I may have to go back on what I said. In this case, you know, when I read the question, it says, how fast is object 2 moving with respect to the Earth? And in our equation, we have ux on the left side. So obviously, ux must be what we're going to find. So what's ux? ux is the speed of object 2 with respect to the Earth. Therefore, in this case, Earth has to be taken as the S-frame because ux is the speed with respect to the s-frame. And the s-prime with respect to s is 0.9c. The second rocket with respect to s-prime, which is the first rocket, is point, negative 0.7c. Obviously, it will appear to be moving backwards. And we are finding the speed of rocket 2 with respect to x, so I mean s, which is ux. That's the formula. And you get the answer. So you understand that although most of the time we could set the Earth as the s prime frame, it depends on the question. In this question, you are asked to find how fast object 2 is moving with respect to the Earth. And ux is the unknown, so the Earth has to be the S-frame. So, and you get the answer there. Right, so I, I wrote that. I wrote that the S-frame is the Earth. Takes us to number six. It's about a set of twins. And I'm not reading the question. Please take the time. It's about uh, time dilation again. Delta T is delta T naught times gamma. Find gamma. You get it as 1.25. Put it back into that equation. So the answer is 18 years, because eight years have passed, all right? Four years either way. Number seven, uh, again, it's a length contraction, direct application. You have the formula for length contraction. Find the value of gamma. You get it as 1.67, put it back into the equation, delta L naught is 14, so you get 8.4 meters. Number eight, the amount of energy which is equivalent to 2 kilogram of mass, direct application, E is equal to mc squared, just put it into that. And uh, obviously it's 18 times 10 to the 16 joules, just from 2 kilograms. Two spaceships are traveling through space, uh, both at point 0.6c relative to the Earth. If the ships are headed directly toward each other, what's their approach velocity as measured by a person on either craft? All right, so that's like the picture. Velocity of A with respect to B is ux. I mean, velocity of B with respect to A is ux. Velocity of B with respect to the Earth is Ux prime. Velocity of the Earth with respect to A is V. Now that's taken as the positive velocity. So that's positive. And then you plug it into the equation. It is uh, this part that you have to really understand. There's no shortcut for that. You really have to know uh, what you're doing. And in this case, notice that uh, the S prime is the Earth. S prime is the Earth, and 
Now one of the spaceships is A, the other is B. So take a look at this and understand this. Now the next question is uh, similar to what we had done before, so I'm not going to spend uh, much time on that. Uh, the speeds are different. as compared to the other uh, previous problem, but it's basically the same thing. You gotta find gamma first. And uh, once you get gamma, just plug it back and get the answer. So it's uh, 50 years and uh, 70 years, because for one, 30 years have passed, for the other, 50 has passed. So that'll be their ages uh, when returning to the Earth. Again, how much mass is lost during a reaction in which uh, 1.7 times 10 to the 8 mega electron volts of energy is released? You got to change that into joules. And you know that uh, one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And uh, so just multiply this with 1.6 times negative uh, 13 because it's mega, because mega is 10 to the 6, all right? So 10 to the negative 19 becomes 10 to the negative 13. And uh, once you get that, change it back into use the relativity equation and find the mass that should have been destroyed during the reaction. Three point zero times 10 to the negative 22 kilograms. Uh, number 12 is again a simple question there. Just tells you that uh, 1,000 tons of uh, TNT will produce 4.3 times 10 to the 12 joules, and 20,000 tons of TNT uh, explosive energy was produced, so 20 multiplied by that. Uh, that's an actual fact uh, about the atomic bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki, and uh, it, it killed 140,000 people. Okay, anyways, so the mass is just that energy divided by square of the speed of light and you get the mass as hmm, 0.99 and 0.955 grams Uh, same kind of question, so I'm going to let it run through, and no need of any explanations there. And 14, how fast would a rocket ship have to move to contract to half of its proper length as observed by a stationary object? Okay, length contraction. The contract is, is contraction, I mean, is given as one half of its proper length. And then once you set up that equation, uh, you get gamma as two from there, so set it equal to two and find the velocity. I am having to rush through this because there's just uh, 10 minutes before class begins, so but hopefully you understand all this. 15, the closest star to our solar system is Alpha Centauri, which is 4.30 light years away. A spaceship with a constant speed of 0.8 C 
relative to the Earth travels toward the star. What distance does the spaceship travel according to a passenger on the ship? Distance, uh, what distance does it appear to be? So it's length contraction. We gotta find gamma. The speed is given, so find gamma first. Once you get gamma, put it back into that equation. Remember, it's uh, in light years, so the final answer will also be in light years. It's 2.58 light years. Uh, I think those are the questions that were on the quiz, and hopefully you understood it. Thank you so much, and wish you all the best.